<clears throat> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the channel to talk about some uh, NFL um, news. So let's get around to it here. So first thing I want to talk about is a pretty great story here. I remember former former Giants coach uh, Bill Parcells. Uh, he has lent four million dollars to 20 ex Giants players that are in a quote financial crisis. Via Sports Rap 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 Port and Gray Gary Myers M Y Myers asked Parcells why did he do that? No, he won't get the money back. And he basically said these guys have sacrificed so much for me with their bodies and their commitment. You've never ever heard a bad thing about uh, Bill Parcells. Pretty amazing uh, gesture to give four million dollars to twenty ex Giants players. You never heard anything bad about Bill Parcells, and uh, his act of generosity is very inspiring to uh, people. Absolute legend, common uh, W. Uh, so, remember former NFL QB Chad Kelly, uh, the nephew, nephew uh, of Hall of Famer Jim Kelly. Uh, he he has now become the highest pl paid player in the CFL. Yes. He signed a three-year, a $1.865 million deal. He originally entered the league, remember, as Mr. Relevant, 2017. He played in the Broncos and Colts from 2017 to 2020. He threw 16 touchdowns and 7 interceptions in 2023 while passing for 2,402 yards. So he's now the highest paid player in the CFL, three years, a $1.865 million deal. I mean, he looks pretty pretty good in the CFL from what I hear. I mean, things didn't work in the NFL, but at least they're working out in the CFL, so. I mean, he's much better in the CFL than he was in the NFL. The NFL, he was mid, to be honest. Um, so, USA Today, uh, they gave their top 10 best NFL stadiums. So let's get into number one, uh, Lumen Field for the Seahawks, Arrowhead Stadium, uh, the Chiefs, M&T, uh, Bank Stadium for the Ravens, Alliance Stadium for the Raiders, Raymond James Stadium, the Buccaneers, Akersher Stadium, the Steelers, Lucas Oil Stadium, the Colts, U.S. Bank Stadium with the Vikings, Lambeau Field, the Packers, and number 10, SoFi Stadium with the Rams and Chargers. Uh, I don't know. I don't know about this list, to be honest. I mean, I'm kind of biased, I guess. I mean, the Cowboys should be on here. Like, at least in the top ten. Like, at least in the top ten somewhere. Kind of a random list. Uh, find some more news here. So, Lions GM, uh, Brad Holmes, uh, he talked about Detroit and his confidence that they can win the NFC North title season and, it's, and he says he has a quote very high confidence that Detroit will win the NFC North title this season. It would be their first division title since 1993. Quote, we've gone through a lot of darkness to get to this point. I do think we've took our medicine in the past couple of years. Me and the Lions coach Dan Campbell talk about it all the time. He said, uh, quote, we've coached the senior bowl. We had to do hard knocks. We've done all that. That's where the grit comes in place, in terms of just not really wavering and put your head down or get discouraged. And we just kind of put the focus on building the best roster that we can and really getting the best football players, he added. Via E. Woodyard. Will the Lions win the division this season? I think they have a very good chance. Um, and there's very high confidence. I mean, I think they'll be better. They got, I think this is their year. So I like the Jameer Gibbs ad. While well, I think it was a bit high in the draft, I like that ad. Uh, in the in the backfield, because he can be a threat in the running game and the receiving. I think that's, that that was a good ad, um, in my opinion. Uh, in the draft, 
They were a tough team last year, and it'll be interesting to see if they can build on that and improve even more. They had some tough losses that could have been close to extra wins. And I think, and they started the season really bad, but then they finished the season really good. I think there's very high confidence they can win this division. It's either going to be them or the Vikings. I don't think the Packers or the Bears will be even close. Uh, to be honest. So we also uh, got some more stuff from Lions, the general manager. Brad Holmes confirmed that the team and three-time Pro Bowl quarterback Jared Goff have had a, quote, open dialogue on a new contract extension. Remember, he was a part of the Matthew Stafford Rams trade. Uh, since arriving to Detroit, Detroit via the Matthew Stafford Rams trade, he's passed for 7,683 yards, 48 touchdowns, and only 15 receivers while completing 66 66- percent of his passes in two seasons. He's 28 years old and can be the Lions franchise QB maybe for years to come. I feel like he's been extremely like underrated and like underappreciated from like the last two seasons. While he's not like a top 10 quarterback and maybe he's benefited a lot from Graham's mind and Ben Johnson. But you can say that about any quarterback. The last two seasons, he's been really good with a, a great offensive mind of Ben Johnson. And that's really what he needed. A great offensive mind in uh, Ben Johnson. So, I think that was great to bring him in. 